The tower now called Bannerfall is a standing monument, a relic of the city's more violent past. It was also home to the workshop Fizo Crux used to develop a weapon worthy of the Iron Lords. Let's just hope some of his notes and prototype parts are still intact. The Crucible tends to be a little rough on the decor. We're here, Tyra. Any idea where we should start? I've asked that full power be restored to the tower while you are there. You should be able to access Bannerfall's core database. Got it. We'll let you know what we find. All right. The tower database has everything pretty clearly marked. I have locations for Faisal's workshop and the archives. Let's check the archives first. Tyra, how many towers like this are left? At the city's height, <laughs> he's not going to let me tell. The wall they're they're going to be talking about Eight towers along its length. Most have been destroyed. So, um, that was the um, concordant side of the of the map, and uh, this is the monarchy side. You can see here. Um, this wall right here is blocked off during the Crucible mission, or well, Crucible uh, matches, uh, and with good reason, because otherwise you could like come in here and like hide this and wait for right to come around the corner. Let's yes, I don't know. Find. But you can see here, uh, this is like Crucible Crux's laboratory. I don't know if this was actually like if you could see in here before. You see those windows here. Order. Still hard to believe a faction right here in the city would try to rise against the speaker. This is you could actually see in there, I don't know. propaganda from New Monarchy denouncing Lysander the Concordat. Glad I wasn't around in the city for this. Aha, here we go. Faisal Crux's personal blueprint store. Gallahorn blueprints front and center. Let's head to his workshop next. So there's some interesting story there. It's all in the Grimoire cards about the violent past of the city. Back in the city age before, I think that was still before the Guardians, right? Or not? No, it was back like Iron Lord time, I guess. Uh, which would make sense, but um, there's some interesting stuff in the Grimoire cards for that if you uh, are interested in reading it. This is another one of those areas that's closed off during the matches. These look like components for their royalty line of launchers. Baron, Viceroy, Charlemagne. Huh. This is a bunch of development materials from Lomar's work. I think some of these designs became the Truth Launcher. This is it. These components match the notations on the Gallahorn blueprints. We've got what we need. You'd think mission over, right? Of course, it's not that simple, but... <laughs> because we haven't fired a single bullet the whole time yet. Look at all those dirty cockroaches. Bannerfall's early warning defenses are feeding me data. The Fallen are here. I have sent word to the city's defenders. You will have aid soon, Guardian. But it may take some time to get there. All right, so now we fight some fallen. This was actually shown in the uh, the turrets. If we can activate the automated the preview, defenses, we can hold the fallen until the hawks get here. That was the best idea ever. This is kind of cool, I guess. You activate that terminal and right here, you That's get some help. First mission I know of that actually gives you help from the environment. Be fascinated later. Kind of this. I mean, it would be helpful if it wasn't shooting the wall, but <laughs> there's more down here. You guys, you can see there shooting the drills. Also, I can't guarantee I'll be able to do this on the first try. I'm gonna try my best.
All right. I'm reading two massive this explosive devices just transmitted in. Right. Poland must be trying to breach the wall. I'll share my strategy with you. I'm not sure it's the best ever, but I will share it with you anyway. One thing I would say is uh, I will try to clean out some enemies before I start this. They're gonna die. Oh boy. Um, I can do this. Don't worry. You won't be watching forever. It'll be massive explosive devices just transmitted in. It'll be over. I'll do it. Reach the wall. Notice also that they're just regular fallen. <laughs> they're the House of Devils, but they're not splicers, they're just um, um, except the shanks, you'll notice that the exploder shanks that are gonna come in, in a little bit are splicer exploder shanks. Which is weird because there is normal exploder shanks they could have used, but Okay, so now we deploy this ghost right, our ghost right here. And that's where the real trouble begins. So now, for this part, you have to load up this thing and stay within this uh, circle while it loads up. Are you going to do it anytime soon, Ghost? There we go. I stay over here. So you can see the barrier, the border right here. It'll start going down if you're not in the area. But you can see here, the main problem you have to deal with is shanks. You'll have some vandals too. But if you want, if you hit the exploders, it should be pretty good. Of course, you can see they, they dropped down through here too. Ghosts can get a bit annoying in the missions, to be honest. See, like there, I had to back out of the circle. I didn't look the number before I did it, but I'm pretty sure it went down a little bit. So it will take longer if you're constantly backing out of the circle. I wouldn't consider this a cheese spot because you know you're still vulnerable. Um, but that's one down. Let's find the second before we have to explain okay. to Zavala what happened to his wall. Okay, so now you have to go to the other side and do that again. And it's in a different spot. It's in a slightly different spot. I know this map is symmetrical, but it's in a slightly different spot. You can see here it's on this side of the bridge. So that means the zone around it is in a different spot. So you can't hide in the same spot on this side. This side also is going to pit you again. I, I believe this side pits you. Maybe it's just the heroic version. Because I've done both. But I'm pretty sure that this pits you against uh, Vandals as well including invisible vandals like obviously they're here right now but I mean like during the actual mission part it might also just be because of where I was standing too so like I said I'm just standing in a different spot and it's not all that great of a spot <laughs> there might be a better spot like I said I'm just sharing my strategy I'm not guaranteeing it to be like the best strategy okay. I, I meant to shoot him one more time before I did that Luckily, there's no time limit on this. I mean, there, in, before you activate the thing. So come in here, activate this. You 
and see how it's we can oh, do oh, oh, it's not an armor ghost. Okay, I thought it was. So I come up here into this room. Now, like I said, this is not the best spot ever because you have exploder shanks coming this way and that way, and you can't go that way because this is the, the right on the edge of the of the area. So if you go out, if you go that way to try to shoot some, you're gonna run into some problems. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the language. Uh, I try not to use language in my videos, but I don't make any promises, and that's why sometimes language happens. Should have saved that for an exploder. Because you notice they don't explode when you do uh, elemental damage to them. Sweet. We don't got it. I just registered a massive transmat, a fallen captain, and he's coming for us. This is the part you might have seen in the video. But you can die during this part, it's not responding to restricted. Which is a little weird, but. Oh, come on. You really have to get in my way? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, gosh. This, by the way, is the titanium orchid. The rocket launcher from the, uh... Iron Man. And the gun underneath this um, platform I'm on is actually how to be, too. Geronimo! And there the city defenders now help me out too, the hawks in the back of Temple. I'm eager to look at what you found. Whoa. Yeah, that's one part that annoys me about this mission, is those turrets, if they're shooting at something behind you, and they hit you, it hurts you. <laughs> Even though they're supposed to be on my team. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that, but... Yeah. Hello there, Hawks. Thank you for your service. I believe the lore says they're not guardians. 